Hey guys and welcome back to another video of EZK Sports and today I am back at it with another video and this time I'm going to be doing my MLW 2023 playoff predictions. This is going to be interesting as teams are trying to get to Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. All six teams have a chance at getting that trophy so today we're going to see who's actually going to get it. So let's start in the NL with the NLDS. And of course, you have the 10-5 and 5 Downtown Diamondbacks against the 8-7 and 7 Eastern Eagles. Downtown Diamondbacks have been a consistent powerhouse all season long. They had the series against the Mowers where they got swept. Beside that series, they've gone 10-2 and 2 in their other four. And not to mention, this team is the back-to-back -back champions. You have Jimmy Norp, who's an elite ace on the mound. Trey Flood, who can back him up if Norp gets into trouble. And then you have probably one of the best 1-4s in MLW. You got Pishka, you got Norp you got Heath and you got Bennett. All four guys can hit the ball well. Casey Bennett will not be there for this series and Michael Shima will be taking his spot in the lineup. But Michael Shima has shown to be good in the postseason as he helps this team out both offensively and defensively. Jimmy Norp is having his worst season offensively of his career, which is a little concerning. With his other teammates stepping up and Pitchka has really been the best hitter on the D-backs this year, I don't think offense is going to be a problem. For the Eagles, it's a lot of the same story. Now, while they did struggle in the first half of the season as they went 1-5 in their first two slates. Since then, they've been 7-2, sweeping the Cobras. They beat the Cats in Vermont and they beat the Gators. This team is rolling right now. Blade Walker has shown himself to be a very serviceable number two arm as he has a lot of great stuff with that drop ball in that slider that he's mixing out from time to time. And you also add that with Dallas Allen, who is arguably the best pitcher in MLW right now. He has a wide arsenal of pitches and of course that drop ball and banana ball combo, which is just untouchable for most batters. And even though I said the Diamondbacks have one of the best one through fours, the Eagles are right up there with Zach Whalen, Dallas Allen, Daniel Schultz, Blade Walker, and Landon Urgaitis. You have five guys that you can really trust here. However, Eagles, if you run a five-man lineup, you're losing the series. They they made this mistake last year, and I feel like they're going to make it again. And because of that, I'm going to take the downtown Diamondbacks. I think right now, they're the slightly better team. The Diamondbacks just kind of own the Eagles right now. I'm rooting for the Eagles in the series, but I got the downtown Diamondbacks taking care of business. And then in the AL with the ALDS, you have the Pacific Predators against the Western Wildcats. And honestly, I don't know how close the series is going to be. The Wildcats have been 2-7 and seven in their last last three series. It went from six and one to seven and eight, while the Preds went from one and six to eight and seven. They've been rolling right now. Ryan Cratch has been insane on the mound. Probably the best pitcher in MLW right now. The Cy Young front runner, the MVP front runner. Russell and Warda have been great bats this year, both having over 240 averages and over 900 OPSs. And then you have Rudy Ramirez, who stepped up offensively in the second half of the season as he's shown himself to be a very good contact bat. However, with the Western Wildcats, things just have been going on a downward. Kyle Schultz has had his worst season in his career, both on the mound and at the plate, batting for a sub-800 OPS. That is not like Kyle Schultz. Then you have Jackson, who finished the season batting 171. Saylor had his worst offensive season. A lot of these guys just are not playing Playing as good as they should be and for that reason I'm taking the Preds here as I mean they've owned this series anyway so this just makes sense to take the Preds and then for the NLCS this series was electric last year and it's going to be electric again downtown Diamondbacks and the Midwest Mallard now honestly I've wavered on this series a lot because you look at last year's matchup and last year's matchup was one of the better series. It's really tough because look, I predicted the Mallards to go to the World Series this year. I I'm having a tough time not predicting that again. However, the downtown Diamondbacks are probably the better team. They might have Casey Bennett for this series and you worry, how well is Preston Cole going to hit? How well is Matt Carlington going to hit? How well is Tommy Coughlin going to hit? Because he did have a rough second half. So I think this is going to be just like last year, maybe even better, but I got the D-backs in three. And then in the ALCS, the Magic and the Preds. The Magic swept the series in the regular season. And of course, they have RJ Walgate, who has surprised many this year. And they have Trevor Bonham, who's been a very good number two pitcher and a on-base machine. Grant Miller has probably been the rookie of the year. And if it's not him, it's of course his teammate RJ Walgate. However, there is a big question with this team. In my opinion, you can't win the World Series unless you've had the experience 
experience of losing in the playoffs with your current core. RJ, Grant, AJ, and Curdy have never played in a playoff series in MLW before. That is a little concerning in my opinion. And Agner has never been on a team that is this good. As long as Ryan is throwing strikes, yes, Grant Miller is probably going to hit at least two home runs in this series. However, if Ryan is throwing strikes, which we know he can if he can throw strikes throwing a 360 no-look screwball, I think he can just throw strikes normally as well. As long as he can throw strikes, guys like Bonham and Curdy can't rely on getting walks. You look at the Preds, who have their 1-4 through four has been pretty solid in the second half of the season, and overall the Preds lineup right now is just 10 times better than the Magic. Grant Miller is great, but I think it's too much to ask from a rookie 14-year-old RJ Walgate to carry the Magic through the playoffs, and for this reason, I gotta go with the Preds in three. Call me biased, but I got the Preds going to the World Series to face the downtown Diamond. Now, in the World Series, this is going to be a showdown. Jimmy Norp, Ryan Crash, uh, arguably the two best players in MLW right now. Of course, you got Jordan Robles and Dallas Allen right mixed in there. However, I'm going to stick with my preseason prediction, and I'm going to have the Preds in five. Look, I'm just saying it would be a pretty bad look if the same team won three times in a row. But if you really look at this, Ryan can do it all. Ryan can do it all. And as long as Russ and Warda, who both saw Jimmy well in the opening series where the Diamondbacks won that series 2 to one earlier this season, I feel like the Preds have a shot here. And while the D-backs do have a really good lineup, this series is going to be super even. This series is going five games. And yes, is Ryan going to have to throw five games in one day? Yes, he is. He certainly is. And that might be tough for him. But if there's one guy in MLW that could do that other than Robles, it's Ryan Kratz. The one advantage the D-backs do have here is that they also have Trey who can pitch. The Preds are not going to McGlade most likely in the World Series. That's an advantage the Diamond backs could have. However, right now, I feel like the Preds are on an absolute tear. As long as Rudy's hitting, Cratch can keep this up. I don't see any reason to why this team cannot win the World Series. And again, like I said, it would be a pretty bad look if the Dimebacks were to win three times in a row. You know all six of these teams have a shot, but I got the Preds winning this one. I'm sticking with my preseason prediction. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, it's going to be right playoffs. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.